All right, Tom Brady. Um, basically setting up for life after football. I remember hearing him saying he didn't really want to coach. That wasn't something that he was gonna do. But now, apparently, you know, Fox lost Troy Aikman and, and um, Joe Buck to ESPN, and now they're hiring Tom Brady to get in the booth. Now, I also heard that there were some discussions about Phillip Rivers going to ESPN. You know, Phillip Rivers got like 15 kids. You know, they're trying to get him in the booth, the ESPN or Fox. You know, Tony Romo set the new standard for money. He got a big contract, and I like Romo. But one thing you all you can you can always agree on in sports, okay? Listen to me. One thing we can agree on is that nobody – it's ever going to like one commentator. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's like, you know, uh, John Madden and Pat Summerall. But then again, it's probably somebody back in the day that didn't like them neither. Right? We never going to – it's never going to be 60% of people that agree. It's rarely going to be 60% of people that agree with <laughs> commentator choice. I you know I love Tony Romo. Love to, I love to hear his predictions about the play. I love to hear his – uh the way he break down plays. But a lot of people don't like to hear that. <laughs> Believe it or not, a lot of people don't like to hear that. They think it's irritating. Those are casual football fans who don't understand nothing about – they don't understand nothing about football. I don't care about the X's and O's. They're just watching it for the pure casual viewership. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's going to be interesting because yeah, I remember that Tony Romo was going through uh, – they were showing him going through uh, – mock games and he would go he they would show him in the booth and you know he was practicing doing mock games so you know and he was kind of getting ready for him his training and you know like i said i'm pretty sure tom brady is going to try to be the best he can be like a lot of people think a t a, a queeb to to leave it's horrible in the booth you know i just think one more time he gonna get better remember people didn't like chris rever remember a lot of people didn't like chris rever in the uh in the, in the booth, you know, thought he was too kind of the same thing with Talib. Uh, it's just like you know, I just think they they at some points they just got too high and too low, you know. That's why I think it is. Some points, I think with a couple with a little bit more, you know, training for Talib in the booth, I think he'd be pretty good. Love to hear his insight as, as well, too. So, with Tom Brady being in the booth, we know he probably gonna, you know, he gonna put extra into it. You know, Peyton don't want to coach, and Peyton don't want to be a GM neither. So Peyton just go on ESPN as an alternative broadcaster. And I can dig it. Excuse me. I can dig it, though, you know. But, you know, Brady, I mean, maybe this saying Brady, this Brady last year. You know, a lot of people say he should have retired after Atlanta, after, after the Atlanta season. You know, and... My whole thing about it was cool, you know, but then he kept going and still won another championship. And also he was able to, uh, he was able to, you know, show, show that it's, it's, you know, that he was, I mean, he's not going to never admit this or I wouldn't be surprised if he did, but he's probably also, You know, he's probably also is, you know, more likely not really kind of admit that he wanted to uh, one up Bill Belichick. And he's showing it. And Belichick, a lot of people on the surface saying Belichick draft that he had this year was trash. So he also showing separation with Belichick. You know, and uh You know, so I think right now he won and Belichick getting older. And the game could be passing Belichick by. You know, the game could be passing him by, but let's read the particulars, man. It says Tom Brady to join Fox Sports as lead analysis after retirement. They don't have nobody else that want to take the job. You know, they don't have nobody else that's that's willing to take the job. They lost Joe Buck and, and – um, Tom Brady, they probably also lost out on Drew Brees. He on NBC. You know, uh, 
Who else do they got? So, so Tom Brady's still playing for Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but he's already got a job lined up when he decides to hang it up this helmet. During the earnings call on Tuesday, Fox CEO uh, Latchland Murdoch, whatever, announced that Tom Brady will be joining Fox Sports when he retires, taking the role as lead analyst. Tom Brady has agreed to join Fox Sports as lead NFL analyst whenever he starts playing. So that's what he said. He'll be calling games with Kevin Burkhart, who is replacing Joe Buck this season after Buck and his broadcast partner Troy Eggman left for ESPN earlier this year. With Burkhart in the uh, Buck seat, Brady will essentially be the new Eggman. Whenever he retires, that is. And the tweet shortly after that Murdoch made the announcement, Brady said, as he has many times over the years, that he has unfinished business to take care of. So my thing is, uh, who is uh, Kevin Burkhart? I don't know who he is. Let me see. Maybe I put a, a, a name with a face. But – um, they get clean. Nobody has a job, so just let you know that uh, I don't know who he is. Maybe call NASCAR or something. So, yeah, I'll probably hurt him. I don't. I can't put it in the face with a name though. But um, but um, you know, looking at you know, cool. You couldn't get nobody to take the job. See, Ryan Fitzpatrick, would he want to do it? Um, you know, it's a lot of retired quarterbacks, but you know, like I said before, I'm surprised Michael Vick. That's probably something Michael Vick don't want to do. Michael Vick got a good thing going on on Fox Sports, but you know, McNabb is out there. I mean, um, like I said Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, what's my man Josh McNown is out there, so you know. So they had a lot of options, but that's a, that's a tough job. You know, you don't have to work. You know, you got to break down film. You're still breaking down film, so maybe that's scratching. That's uh, he's he be he able to scratch your itch right there. Got to watch films. Got to do interviews, and you know, you travel. I don't know when they end up getting there for the week. I know most teams fly in on Friday, and maybe on Saturdays they have the t- the player meeting. So you probably spend. His wife probably don't want him at home. No way. He probably spent Monday and Thursday at the house, something like that. Fly fly out to where they playing at. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be missing Thanksgiving, but fly out to where they playing at. So he's probably going to be missing the, be there the first half of the week, Sunday after the game, eat something, fly back home, be there Sunday night, probably see his kids Sunday night through Thursday afternoon. And, you know, that is what it is. So, I mean, at the end of the day, they pay, they probably paid him more money than he he making currently. He they probably paid him more money than he making. Hold on. Let's see uh Tony Robo. I forget. So Tony Romo make a 17 and a half per year. So let's see what uh what Brady because Brady be taking pay cuts. He I mean his wife worth like damn near a billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? Um so he on a one year fifteen million dollar deal. So you know, as of right now, he making ten seven. So almost ten point eight. So he gonna probably be making twenty million dollars a year talking. They can't pass that out, pass that up. It's never enough money. But you no, know, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live, drop the video. Financially, you want to support channel cash app dollar sign CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the NFL uh, playlist and the current news playlist. Uh, find my link, hit my link tree up. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, uh, Anchor Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Links in the description the first link there. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.